And while we're on the subject of Universal, let's talk about the Dark Universe. Let's talk some more about the Dark Universe, which is the ridiculously generic-sounding name that Universal has given to its classic monster cinematic universe. Yeah. The first first film in the series has come out. It is called The Mummy. It came out recently, and it made a whopping eh at the box office. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, this would absolutely kill any other franchise, but apparently in the international markets, uh, it made fucking bank. Did it? Yeah. So essentially, The Mummy is uh, this year's uh, Pacific Rim. (laughs) Like, Pacific Rim did eh at the box office, but then in China, like, everyone saw it 12 times. Mm Mm-hmm. So now they're making a second Pacific Rim. So basically, that's The Mummy. In the international markets, The Mummy is the single biggest opening for a Tom Cruise film ever. Really? And that basically means that the so-called Dark Universe is probably safe to slag on towards more collective yawns. Now, I've got a lot of problems with their gritty universe monster reboot thingamajig. So do I. But let's get my long laundry list of complaints and just focus on one, okay? Okay. It's obvious that Universal wants their massive cinematic universe to be a different sort of cinematic universe by being bigger and classier. These, are, these aren't these are just monster movies. These are prestige pictures for Universal. Yeah. As evident by the big names that they're wrangling to play all these classic monsters. You've got Johnny Depp as the Invisible Man, which should be good because the Invisible Man is kind of a cocky son of a bitch who does get a really impressive death count going in the original uh, (laughs) Invisible Man. So Johnny Depp, I can totally see that. You've got Russell Crowe playing Dr. Jekyll, which should be good. He, I mean, he's Russell Crowe. And then the best part about these... Oh, oh uh, Javier Bardem is uh, playing Frankenstein's monster. I believe it's Javier Bardem. Okay. I believe. And uh, the best part about the, the dark universe is that you've got Tom Cruise dying in a plane crash. That is always good. Yeah, one good thing you can say about The Mummy, like, I read a review somewhere, and they said that the best thing about The Mummy is that it's always fun to see Tom Cruise, to see people try and kill Tom Cruise. (laughs) It doesn't matter what movie it is, whether it's Mission Impossible, or whether it's, I don't know, Jack Reacher, or whether it's, I don't know, Top Gun. It's just always fun to see people shoot at Tom Cruise, because that's everyone's dream. (laughs) Yeah. So... They're even trying to pry Angelina Jolie away from her 19 adopted Kenyan children so that she can play the Bride of Frankenstein. Okay. And that's all fine and that's all fine and dandy. I see what Universal is trying to do here by getting big names. There's that's certain to put butts in seats. But here's the thing about cinematic universes, is, 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 okay? Yeah. All of these movies are supposed to be connected. And all the stars that they have for these movies are way too big. Tom Cruise isn't going to be in six interlocking movies. You know how long Mm -hmm. it took him to make five Mission Impossible movies? The first Mission Impossible came out when I was in high school, and now I'm fucking 40. Mm -hmm. And he just did Mission Impossible 5. So there's no way that Angelina... There's no way you're going to get Angelina Jolie to appear in, like, seven films. She's she's not going to Samuel L. Jackson it up. Yeah. You know? And they just yeah. don't... I, I mean, I didn't see The Mummy, but I saw the trailer, you know? And I saw the trailers for Dracula, which you could tell is, like, a, a dry run. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's like, these just don't look like universal movies. What? Why do universal monster movies if you're not going to bother with universal monster movie fans? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. You can make it half the goddamn price. Yeah. I would rather not see a single name in one of those. You know? As long as you... Yeah. 
And, and yeah, and much, much cheaper as long as you get it. All of these movies were like dark and mythic and gothic and mysterious yeah. and spooky. And all of these films just look like uh, Michael Bay films. That's, that's, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what the trailer of The Mummy looked like for me. Just like, yeah. It's an action movie with a mummy? Yeah. Michael Bay is the mummy. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, I think that's a big mistake in the long run, you know? Yeah. I mean, try to modernize it somehow, but fuck, not that. Yeah. Just a bit ridiculous. This is really good. Yeah, and, you, and you know, yeah, Michael Bay is just perfect, because kind of, they kind of look like Transformer movies, you know? Yeah. It's just like there's a lot of stuff moving here, but it doesn't look any like anything's going on. 